Hey, and welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. Let's flip over into another chapter, 18 now, verses 1 to 7, and I will read. Now Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, how the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Moses' wife Zipporah after he had sent her away, and her two sons, of whom one was named Gershom, for Moses said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land, and the other was named Eliezer, for he said, The God of my father was my help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife to Moses in the wilderness where he was camped at the Mount of God. He sent word to Moses, I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons with her. Then Moses went out to meet his father-in-law, and he bowed down and kissed him, and they asked each other of their welfare and went into the tent. So here's a little uh, historical piece, you know. Now we find out, you know, what the name of both of Moses' kids is. We knew one of them from before. And we also find that Moses sent his wife away. She sort of disappeared a while back, and the text doesn't, didn't say a great deal about that, but now we know what happened. They went back, and now Jethro is bringing them back, and he sends word, obviously, by some messenger. And uh, so now everybody's coming together. And yeah, if you're going to go out into battle, you might not want your, your wife and children to be subject to that. So apparently Moses sent them away, and now, now we're all reunited again. Now here's where it gets a little bit uh, interesting, cultural a cultural piece. You and I might be thinking, well, if this was like a movie they filmed in Hollywood, what would it be? Well, Zipporah would come running up and Moses would come running up and they would, they would uh, leap, leap together up and, and kiss each other and pray. But here it says, Jethro came and he and Moses kissed. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of sideways, isn't it? No, this is just a different cultural thing, right? So this is the greeting that uh, men greet each other with a kiss on the cheek there in those days. And uh, instead of what in a Western modern context, yeah, the husband and wife would run up and kiss each other on the lips. This is a cultural thing, and we don't hear about Moses and the big giant greeting with the, the kids, you know, mom and the kids. Uh, I'm sure that happened beside, but the first thing is that Moses and Jethro go in and they're going to talk things all over in the tent. By the way, every time you see a J, a name with a J in it virtually in the Old Testament, uh, you should realize those are all pretty much Y sounds. So Jethro is not what his name was, Yethro. Joshua is not what Joshua's name was, Yeshua, Yashua. It's the Y sound. Is it, The ancient Hebrew didn't have the J sound. That comes later. So we're going to go ahead and use the Js sometimes, and we'll use probably the Ys sometimes. But just to keep it clear in our mind, that's the Y sound, not the J sound. So we won't, we won't mess with that too much. Now here we see again that Jethro's taking... The wife and children, he takes charge of them, he protects them, he takes care of them, and now he's delivering them back to Moses. And again, we see, uh, and this might, you know, get, get me docked here, but yeah, in the Bible, the man is the responsible party. The man is the one who protects. The man is the protector, and the women and children are the protected. So, you know, you, you, you might not like that, but that's a Bible pattern. That's just the way that it appears that God designed it. So now Zipporah was quite a lady. She, she could stand up. We looked at that incident before. She could stand up, stand for herself. She didn't need a lot of support. But you know what? It's still true that the men need to step up and support their families and protect their families. So we won't say a lot more here, uh, but an interesting little interlude here. Moses and now the families reunited uh, here after the big deliverance from Egypt. All right, hey, we'll see you back tomorrow morning. I hope so. See you then.